japansupermart.com. Within the Asia X Japan region, which are the sum of the markets that you prefer? What are the current opportunities in the Asian equity market? Okay, so we like to look at markets、uh, based on their profitability and valuation. Ideally, we like markets that are cheap but have a good level of profitability.、Uh, and those markets at the moment we find、uh, in this region are China,、uh, even after a very strong rally last year and continuing into this year, is still the cheapest market in the region and one of the most profitable. Uh, Taiwan also falls into to a similar bracket, and Hong Kong. So basically, the North Asian countries. And on the other side of the equation, the more expensive markets,、um, where we're finding relatively fewer opportunities, are tending to be the ASEAN markets, especially Philippines and Indonesia, which are great markets, great economies, but have now got quite expensive. Asian X Japan earnings began a downward revision cycle since 2011, that has continued well into last year. What are some of the key drivers or catalysts that could cause the various markets in the region to re-rate higher and generate returns for investors? Yes. So actually,、uh, earnings have been under pressure probably for even longer than that since the global financial crisis,、um, and we're watching this very closely. In Asia, if you were a real optimist, you'd say things have just turned up. That hopefully we're going to see earnings improving from here rather than any further downgrades. But it's very early days yet. The catalysts for that are number one, greater demand from the West, from developed markets, particularly the United States, which itself is going through a, a very strong recovery, really, relative to the rest of the world. And then the second big driver is the rise of the consumer in Asia. So more domestic consumption, a rebalancing of the economies in Asia, away from export-led, infrastructure-led growth, much more towards domestic-led consumer growth. And finally, the other factor that's helping Asian earnings and Asian companies is what we call South-South trade. So, rather than doing the bulk of our trade with developed nations, with the U.S. and with Europe, an increasing amount of trade is with other Asian nations, and that's helping earnings in the region. And we're very positive. We we believe they're turning up, but we need to see a bit more evidence to be sure. What are your views on Chinese equities given its relatively cheap valuations? Yeah, well, we're very positive.、Um, we were very positive for the last few years,、uh, and、uh, in some ways, that was not a very uh, popular uh, position to have. People were very negative about China, and then we saw、uh, people's perceptions changing、uh, about the country and the market、um, in in the. End of the first quarter, second quarter of last year, and then a very strong rally towards the end of the year that's continued into 2015. We're still very positive. The market still looks very cheap. Earnings still look very strong, and I think that people's concerns about the banking sector and the property sector, whilst not completely misplaced, have been actually rather exaggerated. And I think a more realistic assessment is now being made about the potential for those sectors and that country. And in our view, that's going to lead to a continued re-rating of the stock market, and that should be very good news for investors. Within the region, which are the sectors or industry groups that are expected to outperform or underperform the others? So within the region, and actually you could almost say globally, the really expensive stuff is the defensive sectors. So healthcare, consumer staples, and other less cyclical, more defensive plays. And the cheap stuff is the cyclical names: the financials, the industrials, energy names. And the reason for that is still a hangover from the global financial crisis. And the economic correction that, that we've seen following the global financial crisis, where people really run for safety, so they're sort of saying, "I want to be in equities, but equities are a bit too scary, so I'm going to buy only the defensive stuff." I think the time is over for that. Those names are too expensive, and they don't really give you any benefits in terms of profitability. 
uh, or really, I would say at this point in the cycle, in terms of defensiveness, a really, really expensive stock can't be defensive by, by definition in our view. So the exciting stuff is the cyclical stuff, and that's where we're finding the best opportunities.